Hi Sagittarius Moons, thank you so much for being here. I am Divine Pim Carrot 144. Very happy, grateful, and blessed to bring you this reading. This reading is designed for those who have their moon sign in the zodiac sign, and I'm hearing adventures of Sagittarius unlimited to anyone who should find this message or should this message find you. For this reading, I will be doing a three-card spread, mind, body, and spirit, using the cosmic tarot deck. I'm going to clarify those three cards using the Egyptian tarot deck. And at the end of your reading, I will do an overall card coming from the Everyday Witch Oracle deck. I've already pre-shuffled all of the decks. I'm going to shuffle the first deck just a few more times, flip the deck, and then we will begin your reading. Before I do that, I would like to speak on the beautiful background that we have here in relation to the Spotlight series, giving honor, recognition, and thanks to Libra Moons. Providing a wonderful balancing, coupling, happy, communicative, social, loving energy here. I feel this is bringing in some lightheartedness after going through some particular intense moon phases that um, we did just have moon energy that was in Cancer. And so, um, yeah, this fun energy that's coming through here, wanting to uh, help us all have a little bit more funny in our life here. So with this, I was guided to share a joke for all of the zodiac signs and Sagittarius moons, your joke is, can February, March? No, but April, May. <laughs> I thought this was so cute and adorable and um, just super funny. <laughs> It's, a, it's all about the delivery here. Um, so do share this with your friends, with your family. Share the love and the laughter. I thought this was pretty cool too with the yellow energy because this is Gemini energy, which is your polarity energy. So, ha 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 ha. <laughs> and also too, these months may be significant here. Whether it be this past year or um, some kind of milestone year for you. That was very transformative. Let me go ahead and get the shuffle in here. All right, and I just wanna say that I love you all. I really appreciate you and I thank you so much for your um, continued love and support. And I do hope that you're all doing well, enjoying the current season that you are celebrating. Sagittarius moons. Let me do a couple more here. Sagittarius moon. That was a good one. All right. So for your mind card, we have death energy, endings, endings, endings. This is completion. This is transformative energy. And I just spoke on this with these months. So it could be very possible that this past year here was something very significant for you where you are definitely putting the smack down, putting the hams down, making it very clear that you are done. Done, done, done. This coming through for sure. This being also Scorpio energy and then a Fucus energy here too as well with the energy of 13. This 13 being a one and a three coming together to create a four, having to do with stability. So you being all about your stability and being very strong in the mental when it comes to completions and wanting to move forward. You've got your mind made up. I do feel also too with the sun energy that could be significant when it comes to your Sagittarius energy, but I am getting this thing about you being an illuminator and an enlightener here. Having gone through a lot of shit, 
I'm seeing all of this that is surrounding where I'm getting this being the energy of you, you cutting things off for sure. But also with what it is that you've gone through, I feel that what it is that you have experienced has brought you to a feeling where you have come to pretty much down to nothing. And this being very important as far as you moving forward to be able to build back up that sunlight is a rejuvenating and also a very healing energy here. So allowing yourself, allowing yourself to be empty, to release all and anything that is no longer serving you. Something being out of time here, as I'm seeing the the clock here, this this watch here. Time's up is what I'm hearing. And you really standing strong with this. And uh, the strength of you coming through here with the skeletal structure here, just being very strong standing here, where just with the bones here, it could all fall apart. But I feel that you have, there's something about the way that you have um, stripped yourself here of everything that's no longer serving you, but still being very strong. And I do feel it's that supportive energy from the sun here. This being about rebirth energy here too as well. This being a very strong statement here that you're making. And in you being in this power here, which I'm getting as being very powerful here. It's creating a massive amount of change for others that are around you that may have had to deal or had to do with these types of situations here that you're just releasing completely and totally. Transformative energy also too as well. With the sun energy, you could also be, this is father energy with the sun, also Leo energy, but you could very well be a very strong leader as this illuminator here that's bringing transformation by being transformative within yourself here and doing what's necessary. I'm also seeing a black bird here. Very camo-like too, because I just noticed it at the tip of the blade here, connected to the hand. So that could be significant too. You receive much communication when it comes to birds. You may be seeing a lot of birds. I feel this is about confirmations for you when you do see birds. But definitely a rebirth. You beginning something new here. The next card after this is temperance, that being about divine intervention, but also having patience and alchemizing. So that being a part of that strength that's coming through here with the death card and you just being prepared, being prepared and being ready. I'm also seeing this sword here that's broken up into pieces where this could have to do with a past situation that was to be built on a foundation based on truth. There being an uncovering of some sort here with that Scorpionic energy coming through. And Scorpio energy lately has had a very strong sexual energy that's coming through. So this most definitely could be tied to a relationship where there was no intimacy and you just being totally over it. That being brought to light here too with the support from the universe. And I feel support from your spirit team and your tribe too because they love you. We love you. I love you. And that came, I did, you know, I was feeling that very strongly right before getting into this reading here for you. I'm seeing this, uh, like some script here. And for some reason, I saw the word bitter. It don't say that, <laughs> but that's what I saw just looking at this here. And then army energy coming through, past life energy that could be significant, or you may be in the military or know someone who's in the military or um, being of service in some kind of way when it comes to serving one's country. Just coming, I mean, almost like, and that could be representative of feeling like you've been in a battlefield for quite some time too. But overall, the energy of four being here Stability being very, very important for you in the mind state here. You being very open, being true, being vulnerable, being brought down to damn near nothing here, 
making the sacrifice and having enough here, standing your ground, not going through a rebirth process where you're moving into a renewal here. Where I just, I feel that speaks very strongly to your mental state. The strength of your mental state being very, very strong here. You making the change and creating change, which is super, super gorgeous. Let's see what we have for the body card. Two of Pentacles. I'm walking on sunshine. Well. And that's what I'm seeing here. Moving away from these. Uh, they look subtle, these waves here. But there's a lot of waves here. There's a lot of waves. And this is a very similar energy. This is you. Oh my goodness, this is so pretty. And this is that Gemini energy here too. That yellow energy. But what I'm getting is um, also the song Back to Life by Soul to Soul. Back to life. Back to reality. And I'm singing a lot here. There's a lot of songs that are coming through. So you may be in much celebration here on the low low here. Doing something for yourself here and being proud of yourself for your accomplishment and overcoming. That's what I'm getting here too. Being strong with, from within yourself, really standing your ground and taking a stand. Now in the physical energy here, it's like this just being brought into fruition where you now have that life back from that sunlight energy and um, that thriving energy, that colorful energy being all here throughout you here. Being fully clothed, I mean, you may be coming into something. I mean, it's with this rebirth, you're becoming, it's a new attitude. Patty LaBelle coming through here too. It's like you're renewed here and very unlike who it is that you were before. This being very transformative here for you. Dying to an old way of being and no longer, not even thinking to look back at what it is that you may have been waiting for forever and realizing that there's so much damn wavy waters here. Is it really worth it for you to be going through this battlefield energy? And I feel this is a part of how it is that you got here, but assessing and that being chariot energy, seven, that being a card of seven, seventh house energy, also being a card of, um, or excuse me, not a card, but energy of Libra. And that being about balance. And I'm seeing that here the balance energy here with you being able to walk away from what no longer serves you. Yin and yang energy also being here and I'm getting this being connected to a high priestess. So you possibly dealing with high priestess energy that could have been manipulative and had you believing that this large ass ship was coming in for you and it may have had the appearance and that being connected to Scorpio energy here. It may have had the appearance of it coming, but there were games and manipulation here. And you realizing and waiting and waiting that um, you being the adventurer, you're all about adventure. You're all about fun. You're all about go getting, you know, what it is that you want. You go after it. You're free spirited energy here. So all this waiting shit, <laughs> I feel that um, you just like you tried something new. You tried something new and you wanted to, you know, see what that was like. You experienced that, realized that that's not your thing. I feel that you also gave a lot of time to this, that being a part of being brought down to damn near nothing here, really making a sacrifice and stepping outside of your Sagittarius self here to get involved with something different and new that I do feel you may have had the feeling that it was going to bring a great amount of success with the ship here and the yin and yang symbol being there and that possibly having to do with partnership and wanting equal give and take, reciprocity, all that good stuff. The eight energy coming through here, you walking away, you're creating your own prosperity here. And not only that, but you're wearing it on your shirt here too. Eight energy here too as well. That being eighth house energy of Scorpio, you transmuting the energy from transformation, from this death card here, and making things work in your favor. This hand, it's all about me here because I do feel that you have given quite a bit of your energy and your time to other things and people that were not serving you and that being representative here. And because you've walked away doing what's best for you, someone's bitter, bitter and salty. We have sea salt water here too. Very bitter and salty. 
Four of Pentacles is also coming through here too. So I feel that with that Four of Pentacles, you may have dealt with someone who was withholding and that being connected to that ship that appeared to be moving towards you, but really was a part of some manipulation, playing games and not coming towards you. That water energy also connected to Scorpio energy there too as well. And a Fucus as well. But you creating your own prosperity. There's being polarity energy here having to deal with Gemini energy. And that little bird there picking up, you know, I feel like this is just your your guidance here that's helping you and supporting you. The messages that are coming through as confirmation for you to let you know that you're on the right path. That being here with this two of pentacles, but you being very balanced overall here. And moving away from what no longer serves, moving forward and moving forward successfully, looking beautiful, wonderful, taking good care of your finances here as I'm seeing a very frugal look, but you being very abundant here. A strong abundance is coming through with the prosperity of the eights. You may be seeing 88 here too as well. And you're unbothered, you're looking past, like I'm seeing the snake energy. That also being scorpionic energy too, snakes being a symbol for Scorpio. And so with the manipulation, it could also be too that as you're walking away, scorpionic energy, who it is that you walked away from, from or situations you walked away from, wanting to present certain situations that may look different, but you've been there and you've done that and you ain't never going back. And you did have a reading that was titled that, but I feel that, you know, energies that you're moving away from continue to want to keep you in the same energy, in the same cycle. And you just really standing strong, making your statement very clear time and time again from that point on that you are definitely transforming. You're not the same. You're moving forward and you're moving forward towards your abundance because you don't have time for the games. And you're ready for some real true partnership with that two energy there too as well. Being connected to the Libra energy that was coming through with the um, seventh house energy, but then also chariot energy and you having already assessed and taken the time to contemplate what it is that you want to do. Pentacles energy is earth energy, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. All right, let's see what we have for your spirit card. Mm -hmm. Standing your ground. Standing your ground. I'm not getting this as like you fighting others. I'm getting this as you being tough from within yourself here and making sure that you are protecting. You are protecting what it is that you have, what it is that you're walking forward towards. And this being your energy here with the wands energy, you mean it. You mean it. And if you have to battle, if you have to fight because you've been, you're prepared. That came through here in the death card. You've been through the battlefield and you don't feel like, like it's not that you have to fight, but you're standing your ground here. And that's typically a seven of wands energy. That seven did come through very strongly here. I do feel it's a part of this five of wands here with that two energy being left here with this two of pentacles and how it is that you're utilizing that two energy connected to this five energy, this overall creating the seven here. But this being within your spirit, you definitely... Standing strong when it comes to yourself here. And that's pretty much it. It's very simple here. The five energy, I do feel that's connected to the amount of transformation that you've been through and the significant amount of change that you're making for yourself from within yourself, but then also wanting to be a very strong example for others so that they don't experience what it is that you've gone through because you've gone through quite a bit. Some very extensive and hurtful and harmful things but it all being designed to help you to come into a wonderful glossy glow and you protecting this wonderful glossy glow, doing what it is that you have to do when it comes to your stability. There's four wands here, an ace of one here, you having a new beginning and creating a new start for yourself and willing to do what's necessary when it comes to your overall stability. It could be too that um, there's been a struggle connected to um, your stability. And that was coming through here with the death card there. But then also related matters related to the home. And you really just standing strong on this. The main thing overall from this is that um, we have this ace of wand here.
with a new start, connected to stability in that four. These purple clouds, purple being your color here. And we do have purple here with the Libra energy and the connection, but purple color is your color and then a fucus energy. So I feel this is also too about the supportive energy, your, your spirit team and your tribe really coming true and through for you to be supportive, to provide this wonderful, lighthearted, loving energy to give you that support along the way as you continue to fight and stand your ground, moving away from what no longer serves you here. <clears throat> Excuse me. The month of May could also be significant too. We did have that come through in your joke and the month of February being represented by the two here. So very deep transformation energy and even the month of April with the energy of four coming through there too as well. And all of those months, all of those months were in your joke, which is super cool. So possibly, very possible that this year of 2022, being 222 two, two, and also having to deal with the energy of six and six of cups energy and past life soulmates you just really again laying the smack down standing your ground putting your foot down when it comes to the hurt and the pain that you've experienced this all being a part of a death process here for you you dying to the old way of being because you've learned and now you know better so you're doing better and we have this here You're not the soft cookie you used to be. <laughs> All right, lovely energy. Let's get to your clarifiers. And we'll clarify the death card. All right, so we have the Six of Swords, Seven of Pentacles is in reverse. I don't normally take reversals. This one at the point right at this Two of Pentacles and you walking away from what no longer serves, the Six of Swords, that's definitely what this means here. You moving away from what no longer serves you here. And with this being Six Energy, first what I'm getting is this being the month of June. So the last month ending in this joke here, and this being about jokes and manipulation here, too, where it could have just been, you know, again, people just really playing with you and messing with you, thinking that you're going to keep doing the same stuff here. And you got jokes, too. So this last month here being May, you really taking a stand, possibly in June here, this being very significant, a very interesting time here for you, that six energy being connected to the 222 energy of 2022. But then also sixth house energy of Virgo, you paying attention to the details, taking really good care of yourself. This being very important to you because you realize that the dependency that you put into past people and past situations were not taking care of you. So you taking the steps to really take care of yourself first, that being very important for you and your health being very important too. your peace of mind, your mental state, your body and your spirit lovely energy here so with the seven of pentacles in reverse that's coming for the death card energy here you no longer putting investment into the bullshit from what it is that you've experienced because you're taking a look around you here in this death card energy and realizing what it is that you were surrounded by no longer putting investment into that bullshit and now this also being too about um, ships coming in, you know, you putting in investment and not receiving that return back from what it is that you've invested in. This being transformative for you here too. But you also having the knowing that if you remove yourself from these type of situations, energetically what you put out there is what you get back. So releasing what no longer serves you is going to create that space for the abundance that is rightfully yours. That being here with the seven of pentacles reverse and the six of swords. This is, again, pentacles, earth energy, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. Seven energy being that chariot energy, but then also the Libra energy coming through. And then swords energy is air energy, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. This being your polarity energy of Gemini. Prosperity coming through here too with that black boat there and you being protected 
in between this two of sword energy making the decision when it comes to yourself aquarius energy i feel that supportive energy from aquarius where it's about um, taking a stand when it comes to humanity and how we treat one another. And you no longer allowing yourself to be mistreated. So with that two of swords connected to this four of swords, four of swords being about healing and you moving away from choppy ass, subtle manipulative waters that I'm getting here. And moving towards what is serving you, very, being very strong in the spirit here and making a statement, staying strong, protecting what it is that you are now moving more towards. Love it. All right, let's um, clarify the two of pentacles here. Clarify the two of pentacles. And I just want to say I love y'all again. I'm just feeling the strength from within yourself here. You really being powerful and building yourself up. Clarify the two of pentacles. Your stability. Very important. That four of wands, you standing your ground when it comes to your stability, your home, your space, your creations, because your surroundings are beautiful and abundant. This also being your ruling energy of Jupiter, too. I should say that, too, with the yellow energy there. Just being very abundant. You, it's me, is what I'm hearing. It's me that's abundant. I'm the one that, you know, brings this abundance. I did the hard work. I made the sacrifices. No more mooching off of my abundance here. It's all about me. And you have every right to feel that way. I feel with what it is that you've gone through here, the investment you, that you've made, and definitely taking a stand for yourself and moving away from what no longer serves you. Stability being very important for you. But then also union here. By you moving away from this so-called wannabe get-together type energy with that yin and yang symbol there, dealing with the high priestess that could have been playing a lot of games with you, you moving towards true union and that representation of what that means for you and not being defined by someone else who I feel that you realize was not in a very healthy state. So much so that it brought this deep transformation to you. Beautiful energy. So overall, we do have the six energy coming through. The strong representation of that Virgo energy. And you really paying attention to the detail and making sure that you repeat. You don't repeat, excuse me. That you do not repeat the same energy that got you here. You're done with that cycle. I should say that there. But this being strong union here. And being about your home. And what it is that's destined for you. This being a part of your abundance here. A beautiful, loving connection. But then also very supportive, beautiful home energy that's coming through. That's protected, that's secure, that's safe. And that's nurturing and loving. That being a part of fourth house energy of cancer. That's coming through. And I was getting that here with the white shirt, that representation there, white being a color for cancer. We also have um, Aquarius energy and Gemini energy, and that was coming through. This is matching your outfit here, that, that beautiful, humbling outfit, I should say. Not so much frugal, because it could most definitely be you putting more quality into what it is that you're wearing as far as how you're being seen on the outside this being important to you and not to others but you putting more quality into yourself and that contributing to the security here with this four of wands this being your energy here with the wands and then also leo aries and a fucus i love this beautiful energy here very clear and to the point and also tying with that four of wands here this being in your spirit and what it is that you're protecting and really standing for and fighting for and making sure that you receive it 
by moving away from what no longer serves you because you've made the investment no longer doing this and this being transformative energy for again others who have been a part of this battlefield type energy here and these waters here connected to that mysterious ship back there <laughs> All right, let's clarify the five of wands. So we are going from this four of wands and we have this five of wands, that being progression, this being connected to your spirit, even more lovely energy here. Let's clarify the five of wands. Ooh. Wrong deck. <laughs> clarify the five of wands. And that happened for a reason. I'm going to see what's on the bottom there. So I feel that's a part of that um, manipulative energy that you've been dealing with. Eight of Wands. You mean it. This is communication. You communicating and not hesitating when it comes to your spirit. Very simple. These are also about arrows of love with this Eight of Wands. Also connected to the Eight of Pentacles and hard work but just how much it is that you've gone through, what it is that you're protecting. You're communicating this and making it very clear. And I'm seeing this Ace of Wand here that we have right here, being right here as well. So that being protective energy over the Seven of Wands energy that was just coming through of you standing your ground and if you remember that I said that, you know, this five of wands coming from that two energy to create that seven where I was getting more of a seven of wands energy being from this five of wands where you're standing your ground, really putting a foot down and making it very clear. That being right here with this ace of wand here, crossing over these seven of wands here, you really building better boundaries for yourself. And because you're doing that, the growth is here. You're releasing when no longer serves, creating space for what does. And now we have this beautiful growth here connected to a new Ace of Wands beginning here. Ace is being about having nothing to do with the past and something completely new that you set yourself up for. You've manifested this because you've had enough and you're making it very known, very well known here with this Eight of Wands here. Swift action, not hesitating as well. No longer because you, again, your free-spirited energy and your fire energy. So I do feel that what you have experienced with this past cycle or cycles of this waiting game and all that is just not, it's not the Sagittarius way for you here. So you definitely learning from that experience and um, this thing in your spirit, fire, 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 also connected to the body, but the polarity energy with Gemini and then also Jupiter energy. Very powerful statement here that you're making. Beautiful energy, Sagittarius moons, I love it. And then we also have the eight energy, that representation that was here, here, and here. So 888 is coming through as well. That being very prosperous energy here, where I feel that's the communication that's coming to you from divine here by you really standing your ground and taking a stand and being very strong. And what it is that you want, going for what it is that you want and standing strong in that and making sure that you receive that, communicating this also to the universe here and them also providing that supportive energy because you're claiming this for yourself and not allowing any of that old shit to come through to affect you anymore in the way that it has before. Your statement being here in those purple clouds, I mean, the way that you're communicating is beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. The eights also, too, with that, um, again, the scorpionic energy that's been coming through very closely tied to a very strong sex energy lately. You definitely making sure that you're manifesting this for yourself because that waiting stuff, it's, again, not the Sagittarius way for you where you're all about passion, fire, and desire, and going for what it is that you really want, and also receiving. Also receiving where that withholding energy was coming through with that four of pentacles there. You're not used to that and that ain't your thing. 
you don't do that for others because you're free-spirited energy. You don't do that towards others. So you're definitely not expecting that to come to you. And if it does, you stayed the course and, you know, waited it out, saw what it brought. And it brought absolutely nothing but this baloney here. So you're over it. You're out of there. And you're making it very well known. Love it. Beautiful reading. Beautiful reading. And also, too, with the eight energy, we are in the month of August. Lion's Gate energy also coming through with that sun energy of Leo. Today is the 6th of August. Or no. Today is the 7th. That flew by. This weekend flew by. <laughs> Today's the 7th, so um, we're coming upon 8-8 eight, eight with the Lionsgate energy. And I just, again, this is no repeats of the past. And you just very, you're, you're making very well um, sure that there's no repeats. You've given into the repeats before. You The lesson here is that... Um, you know, if you want different, then you do different. So you're definitely doing different. And we'll leave it there. Let's get to your Oracle card for Sagittarius Moons. Sagittarius Moons. I just want to give y'all all a big ass hug. Like, I'm so happy for you. This is so great. This is so great. I'm so proud of you. Mm, beautiful energy. Sagittarius moons. Let's see if we can get a popper here. Sagittarius moons. There we go. Look at the coupling energy. I don't even want to touch the card, but we have two people in the card here, which is so dope because I do feel this is a part of your prosperity energy, what is destined for you. It fell on this four of wands here too. With that union energy and what it is that you're really fighting for is true love, true union, integral partners, and no bullshit. Making it clear, speaking it to others and also to the universe. Speak your mind. Oh my God, this is amazing. Speak your mind. This is so beautiful. Communication, reciprocity, that also being a part of the six energy, six of pentacles, equal give and take, and also the Libra energy with the seventh house energy. Balance, partnership, loving energies of couples coming together, working together, you standing strong in this and manifesting this beautifully. I love this Sagittarius moons. You are amazing. <laughs> True, true, true. Let me grab the reading here. All right. This is wonderful. And I feel that this is also about the strength and the amount of strength that you realize you ha you've really had to come into to overcome. That being a part of the chariot energy and the seven energy too. Seven's also being about you being on the right path, but also connected to Pisces energy very strong too. All right, speak your mind. Let's see, where are you? This is on, oh, this is so awesome. All right, so speak your mind is in the air section a thought and communication, but it's number nine. Ninth house energy being Sagittarius energy. Beautiful. And then it's also on page 51. Five and one creates the six. But we have that five and that overall one with the ace of wand. And that wonderful, passionate, creative, and sexual fire energy coming through here. And what it is that you're really standing for here. Oh my goodness. This is awesome. All right. Let me get to turning and stop yapping. Okay, number nine, speak your mind, and that rhymes. So sublime. <laughs> Some of you may be freestylers. Very into music here, just happy and celebrating energy here. This is wonderful. The element of air. Oh, let me pause this. Hold on. 
Okay. The element, the element of air rules over speech, probably because our words are carried on our breath. Go ahead, try holding your breath and speaking at the same time. Many of us have a hard time saying what is really on our minds. We either hold back from speaking because of insecurity or fear of causing a fuss, or we speak too freely or clumsily, never quite managing to say what we want to the way we want it to come out. Open, honest communication is hard, but it is also the cornerstone of all good relationships, whether personal or professional, so it is worth making the effort to get it right, no matter how difficult that might be. The action. If you have trouble speaking your mind, try practicing in the mirror or with a friend you trust. If you are going into a difficult situation where you will need to be speaking, ask the element of air to lend you its power and feel that power with every breath you take. Divination. If you pull this card, the universe is probably telling you that you need to speak up. Boom, we have it right here. Is there an issue or a situation that you have been struggling with, maybe keeping silent when you had something important to say? Do you feel as though you are not being heard at work or in your personal relationships? Remember that you can speak your mind politely and assertively without being nasty or argumentative. If you get to speak your mind, that means you have to listen too. But don't let anyone or anything rob you of your own voice. So the magic provided here is that sometimes it takes extra courage to be able to speak up when it is easier or safer to remain silent. If you need a boost, call on Mercury, the Roman god of eloquence and communication. Mercury is also the ruler of Gemini, your polarity energy, and Virgo, which was coming through very strongly here. Love it. Mercury carried a staff. Oh my goodness, this is awesome. Mercury carried a staff known as the Caduceus, and that's in the Two of Cups. A uh, traditional to a cup card uh, from the Rider Waite Smith deck, which is a stick with two snakes wound around it, sometimes topped by a pair of wings. If you are going into a situation where you need to be able to speak your mind with strength and conviction, draw or download and print out a picture of a caduceus and write your name across it. Ask Mercury to bless the staff and your voice and carry the picture with you when you need it. Beautiful, beautiful guidance is coming through. That supportive energy coming through from your spirit team, Sagittarius Moons. And I do hope that this reading was helpful. This is such a beautiful reading for you. And again, I just, I want to hug every single one of you that this is resonating for. Even if it's not resonating for you, I just want to give everyone a big hug here because this is absolutely fabulous. So again, this was your reading. I hope that these messages were helpful, Sagittarius Moons, enlightening, empowering, and enriching for you. Kudos to you, and I wish you all the best as you continue to move forward in this beautiful stance here, allowing this beautiful energy of abundance to come true and through for you because you know, you have a knowing now of what it is that you rightfully deserve. Time is of the essence, and you being in your power, that free-spirited, loving, spiritual energy here is go time. It was go time. I thank you all for your continued love and support. And until we meet again, take great care. I love you. Peace. Sagittarius Moons, I just looked over and realized that I was going to check out the bottom of that deck that I began to shuffle for your clarifiers that was not meant to be for the clarifiers. And with that manipulation in the games, showing the power from within you here, Nothing can touch you. You built your strength up to where if there's any manipulation or games that come through, you're benefiting from it. You're benefiting from it. You're benefiting from it. Three of Cups energy. And we also have this beautiful ass partnership energy again here. So I just wanted to, I'm going to add this on to your video here, but just wanted to make this very clear and very known that you're definitely on the right path and you're being seen and recognized for the awesomeness that's coming through for you because you're standing your ground and fighting for your abundance here. Happiness, celebration. Three of Cups comes out typically as a first card. There's no need to continue on because this is a great amount of the happiness, joy, completion. This being about here too, the um, masculine and the feminine energy from within you here as within, so as without. You learning lessons, doing the work for yourself, and now just seeing the fruitful harvest that's coming through for you here. 
beautiful energy here with the Spirit of Cups. Very happy energy, celebratory, loving, graceful, connected, peaceful, harmonic, joyful. And the Gemini energy being here, the blue and the yellow coming through again, connected to this energy here in your body. I mean, it's all around here, but this coming through very strongly here. Green also too, abundant energy with Taurus energy. And then that being connected to the heart chakra and the unconditional love, the six is connected to that as well. Cups energy being water energy. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Interfucus. You transmuting any kind of scorpionic energy that you were dealing with. Very healing energy too with the Afucus energy that's coming through and making things work in your favor and you're happy. Very happy. I love you, Sagittarius moons. Take great care. Peace.